Got a recovery machine sucking Freon out right this minute. About to pull the orifice tube out and see what it looks like because this compressor locked up. I want to see if it's got any metal in it, which it's just going to check and make sure everything's good. And this is what I'm using to get these spring clamps loose. Some more hemostats. Says on the sticker. Yeah, oh, two pounds, six ounces, and nine ounces of oil. And I've got oil in a, in a bottle. I'll show y'all how to get it in the system with everything hooked up. Got a vacuum pulled on the system. I got me a funnel hooked to my gauges. I'm gonna pour the oil in the foam and then crack the valve once I get all the bubbles out. That way it's sucking nothing but oil back in it. vacuum on it again after I do this just want y'all to see how to do it cracking the valve there it goes Get all the oil out of the lines. I want to hook the vacuum pump back to it. It's not sucking it right back out of the hose. Now all the oil's in it. Should be good to go. Let's get a good vacuum on it this time. It'll be time to shoot the Freon in it. Got the gauges hooked up. Freon, already hooked up. There's not enough pressure in it for the compressor to kick on at this point, being it's been a vacuum pulled on it. I've let it sit for over, over an hour and still holding vacuum, so it should be good to go. In this first can, I'm gonna put it in as liquid while the motor's not running, while the compressor's off. 
First can going in liquid. Compressors are not running, so if you turn the can the other way, it goes in gas. If you turn it upside down, you're shooting liquid. Compressor is a compressor, not a hydraulic pump, so don't ever turn the can upside down when the compressor is running. You want it to pump gas, not liquid. This goes in a lot quicker this way, plus you gotta have so much pressure to get the pressure switch to kick on so the compressor will come on. So I like to shoot the first can in liquid. That way everything's got enough pressure on it. When, when I do crank the truck up, the compressor will kick on, plus I'm halfway through of charging the system. Before I do crank it up, being it's a new compressor, I'll spin it with my hand several times. Well, well equalized now. Still a little bit left. Turn it back up the right way. Now I'm gonna spin the compressor manually. Should be good. If you look at the gauges. Seventy pounds of pressure. You should have enough for the compressor to come on and start cooling. So fixing to crank it up. Turn it on. Alright y'all, if y'all got any questions, leave a comment. I'll try to get back with you as soon as I can. Until the next one.